the grand illusion. Put the phone to your ear and wait for her call. Wait for patriotism to stop breaking your heart, for the blood on our hands to disappear, and for what the flag supposedly represents to mean something more than a dollar earned as another politician bought and paid for. All this posturing, speechifying, declaration for an independence no one actually lives and dies for. Unless that is, you're a soldier of misfortune, sent to fight in someone else's civil war. We're all slaves to a corporate mindset, doing too good a job wiping out the middle class. Being forced to fall on our own swords over and over again until there's nothing left but television static and, t and chicken soup for more dead souls. We must learn to stop adapting so easily to a reward system, rewarding only the haves and never the have-nots. We must wake up and realize we're prostitutes, yeah. not patron saints. I'm not proud of the carnage piling up like crackling leaves in the name of America the Beautiful, America the Proud, America the Dispassionate, America the Profane, America the Damned and Forsaken. The bald eagle, eagle, the bald eagle is fed to a murder of hungry Christians in a coliseum of our own devising and despicable natures. The legacy being handed down to our children, a legacy of fear and ignorance, all too readily proven by the mistakes we continue making in names in the name of progress and staying the course. Dust up one. Choking on the ashes of my dreams. The crucified a crow 2,000 years ago. It was spoken and then it bled. It was written and then it burned. Does this civilization deserve any better than what it's getting? When up is down and down is up and I, I really don't feel like lying any longer about the state of things or why a fall from grace can be so damn appealing. She is gonna take a bite out of the mid apple and I feel like some kind of sewer rat hell-bent on self-discovery through the denial of one. And maybe the healing has begun. Or maybe, just maybe, we must wait patiently for another 2,000 years. But I'll tell you this, my chosen status will sustain me for only so long. Choking on the dust from dreams not yet dreamt. And I didn't step out and in front of that bus. No, that would have been a waste of both my time and my energy. This is a poem for Joni Soule. She's a painter, a really good painter and a musician. She lives in uh, Austin, Texas. It's called a Radically Human, Non-Specific. She gives me chills and thrills. There is a holocaust occurring in her brain. If you cut open one of her paintings, it would bleed. Some of us, we hang on through hollow prayer and demolished hope. Many of us prefer to stay isolated in a pine box of our own devising. When she stands before the canvas, it's as if she's constructing her very own shrine to invisible fairies who believe in a, rare, in a very real God. It's better that people don't get us. It's better that people don't stretch their brains or get back in touch with their heart stems. Because paradise like this, it cannot be visited too often before becoming accustomed to this special brand of pain and suffering 
designed, designed to lull you out of unconsciousness before numbing you for good. She is dying to live. Heard it the first time I experienced her non-performance. It was at a coffee house in the Victorian age. I was Joan of Arc to her burning stake. She is me on fire from the inside out. And before I knew what hit me, I was swimming in blood and channeling more obscure ghosts. Her painting, it takes her down from a pedestal. Her paintings, her paintings prove saints do exist in this day and age. To make a sacrifice, we must first disconnect from the world at large. To make a difference, we must learn to love the inner child burning inside each and every one of us. Two more quick ones. They say truth and consequences. Read this for a uh, clute. Clute. It's another good name for a bar. Clutes. Who wouldn't want to go hang out at Clutes? They say, they say I'm a poet. They say I'm a Jew. I don't even know who they are. We pretend to change partners. We pretend to accept the breaking news. Not sure why I called you in the first place. They say this and they say that. They say nothing at all with their mouths full of pollution. And whoever they are, I am caring less and less these days. This isn't a poem or some misbegotten prophecy. They say we're the chosen, and I say, show me the contract signed in blood. I've never believed, I've never believed in the small print. But that does not mean that it's any less binding. They say he was a teacher. They say he was a beatnik. They say he was an outlaw. And I, I know exactly who they mean and why shooting stars are so important to our beleaguered belief systems. This last piece is the most, one of the most, I think it's the most recent piece I've written. I don't know this person. We meet people on Facebook. We don't know them and we connect with them. So this is for this woman in faith I met on Facebook from Germany. It's called Teacher. She's a teacher. I am wide open. I'm ready to learn. I'm ready to discover new things. Trust yourself. But turn your intuition inward. Turn away from closed hearts and minds. You, you are our blossoming flower. My consciousness is a rocket ship bursting through the atmosphere. My subconscious is knocked out, it's knocked out, and it's loaded in the naked night. Sometimes I am brimming with self-confidence, sometimes. Other times I find it near impossible to hold my little head up high. Either way, I am still going to make it through because that's what survivors do, no matter the muck we oftentimes find ourselves crawling through. You are a treasure trove of otherworldly delights, a breath of the freshest, most pure oxygen known to woman and man alike. And the serpent, the serpent is just another pesky intruder whose time is nearly extinguished as a slow, slow train comes up around the bend. Thank you. Thanks for letting me read it.